Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Hello, good morning, good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs and I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, minister, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on their channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. This is the day that the Lord had made. Day five, set your mind to think straight. Enticed by passing experts, flamboyant opinions, or new voices, Our gaze drops to earth over and over. We find it hard to take our eyes off shiny things marketed by or other men. Most offer assurance of their significance. How to live a godly life in an ungodly world. Promising to be more than man-made mist temptation whispers that to look away and compare issues to God's word is to risk missing out or being left out. Earthly things and people promise to be the answer we've been waiting for. It's okay to stop fixating on fixing things on earth. Friends, God says, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things in Colossians 3, 2. This doesn't mean we uh, abdicate our role to actively benefit things of uh, world with earthly goods. However, to set our minds is to get understanding by directing our affections in a specific direction. We love things, make things, get things, and pursue things. While things aren't offensive in themselves, God draws our attention to the priority of thinking in His way, to live in His way as His people for His glory. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer in 2 Timothy 2.4. With life now in the bigger picture of life forever, we are free to let go of preoccupation with here. We know God actively shepherds life circumstances, good and bad for our good, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose, Romans 8. 28. Friends, it's an ungodly world, but we need to live godly. Although it is an expression of God's love to fight for justice and mercy in the world, a heaven-focused mindset keeps these things in perspective. Because of God's nature and his authority over all things, here and there, earth and heaven, we can trust him. He's fully aware of events playing out globally, nationally, locally, and personally. What a relief. We can keep a heavenly perspective about earthly things by directing our minds to God's truth. God's got this. If you are living a godly life in an ungodly world, come join the crowd. Call me at 844-405-HELP. You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Look behind me, folks. Look around. It's a beautiful day because the Lord had given us this day. If you're watching me on video, if you hear me on the radio, that means God gave you another lease on life. Enjoy it, make the most of it, and most importantly, thank God for it. May God bless you.